This is for all the people on this planet. Get ready. Greetings from WBCS Neo. Right, um, first things first, what did you think of my new intro? Not bad? Uh, I knocked it up quite quickly. Um, so give us feedback about that. It's just an intro, I just wanted to play around and see if I can make one. And I've sussed it out, um, so it's quite good. Um, if you want to know how I did that, you probably won't because I hand coded actually a website to do that for us. Um, so there you go. Um, right, anyway, getting back to the cubing, we're going to go through a Yao solve, um, and I'm going to talk you through how I solve it. Um, just in case you missed the first video, the first video might not have been that clear, so I'll try again. Um, so I'm going to go through. So, as a rule, I always go for white, especially when I'm solving. 4 by 4s are bigger, um, it's just easier for me, um, respect to people like Felix Sendegs and, 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 and things like that who uh, who obviously, pff, you know, the, the colour neutral on everything, so it's just like, pff, amazing. Okay, so, first thing I look for is anything I can pair up, okay, so I've got a pair here, so I'm just going to put that one in, okay. Straight away I can see another white here, so I'm just going to drop this one in, okay. That just anything I spot straight away okay now what I've spotted straight away is this one okay so I've got this one here and I just need to insert it so that's me block done so we'll go straight on to the top so from here I am lucky I've gotten to have two pairs here which is an easy add together great so normally what I would do is from here I would normally put my oranges in straight away okay I've spotted this though so I'm gonna do that straight away there's my orange okay there's my green so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going looking around putting one edge piece at a time if I can so I've got red okay spotted me other green so I'm gonna put that green in now oops okay so that's two edges complete one partial two partial okay spotted the blue so the blue can go here and I can just slot it in. Okay, from here, as the Yao rule, we do the three solved edges for the bottom with the top unsolved at the top, okay, in the U because we're going to use that as an in and out sorter hour. Okay, from here, we want to build up these inner, inner cores. Okay, so this wants to be, for example, all blue or something. Um, it's not going to be, it's going to be green because that's orange here. I've got a pair of oranges here, so I'm using that as my key colour. So that's orange, so I know this has got to be green here, okay, because blue's got to go here. So I'm going to put green in, so I'm going to pair up a green. Now I've spotted two blues here, which is nice. I'm going to come round, there's a blue there. So if I bring this blue round in, okay, don't have to worry about anything. There's the red pair, so that's the first pairs in. Okay, now the first thing I'm looking for is looking for anything I can complete quite quickly. So in this case I can see this green here. So I need a green, green, green. Okay, I need this empty. So what I'll do is bring this round. Okay, that's empty. Now I can fill that space with them too. That's the green done. Come round. Okay, it's orange is here. But I can see blue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip orange. And go for blue because I know this one's here. Same as green. Okay, now there's the orange pair. That's in the right place. So all I've got to do is come back here. Whoops, one, two, four, many. And then flick it back around. That's everything done. Okay, that was nice and quick. From here, there's me red. So I'm looking for me little red insert. Okay, there's it doesn't matter how it goes in as long as you get it. What you're trying to do at this point is you are trying to obviously make your edge pairs up. So we'll do that. Okay. And then from there we shall insert. Okay. Now 
what I want to try to do is I want to look for anything that I can manipulate. So I've got blue orange here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do blue orange opposite sides. Okay. Insert them. Find this edge to insert with. Okay. Which is good. So blue orange is back here. I'm going to insert that now because I've spotted blue red here. So blue red, blue red. I've put them in side by side, you can either put them diagonal. It's better if you put them diagonal, then you don't have to do as much. And there you go. Okay, I'll insert that one. Now those two edges are filled. Okay, so I don't have to look at them. I know they're there, they're complete. From here I am just looking for more edge pieces to do. So we've got there's an edge piece here done okay now I'm going to put that one at the back so I only have to look at these edge pieces here these five don't have to look at the back don't have to worry about it I've got a nice pair in here so I'm just going to pair them two straight in okay so that's another pair here so I'm looking for this green orange straight away which is here now so I'll do another pair in. keeping an eye on the top because we're running out of pairs so we're down to three pairs now Okay, got a nice <laughs> F2L insert here, never mind. Uh, so orange, green, I've got yellow. Okay, so I would put this one in because this one here needs to go in. Okay, so put that in there. And that finishes all the pairs, so I've got them all done. And I didn't have to look around the back because I knew they were the last ones. It was going to fall in together. From here, we want to insert. I just insert the edges because I like to do that. And then I'll get the corners. So we're now doing standard Rubik solving now. So we're just using F2L and E. Okay, from here, oh, we've got a nice T on top. And we have got, what have I got? Oh, I've got a G pen. And it's solved. I was so lucky I didn't get any parity at all. So there you go. That's, that's the key things is to block these edge pairings when you're pairing up. If you can block them, it means you don't have to look around the cube, you don't have to be doing this all the time. I see Felix doing that quite a lot when he's solving the cube. He's like this all the time. And it's, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he gets such fast times by doing that. But he's perfected something that I, I can't see. But for me that works, so I don't have to rotate the cube. I can just work literally in front of us and solve the cube that way. And I've got a good time, so I'm quite chuffed. So there you go, that's how you solve it using Yao, uh, with my little little tricks in there to um, insert. Um, and that seems to work. There you go. Hope that wasn't a load of nonsense. <laughs> Until the next time.